Hi, I'm Gretchen Rivas with Relax to the Max Massage Therapy, and today we're going to discuss how to tip a massage therapist. Depends a lot on where you're going and what type of massage you're getting. You don't have to tip a massage therapist at all. Now, if you were in a chiropractor's office and you're getting therapeutic massage under a doctor's orders, that type of massage is usually not the type of massage that you would tip. If you're in a private practice where you're just working with a massage therapist one-on-one, -on -one, oftentimes you can tip or not tip. It doesn't really matter that much one way or the other because that person is getting the whole fee. It's when you go to a spa or somebody's working for someone else that you usually want to tip because they're only making a small portion of the fee that you're paying for your massage, and that's where you would want to tip the most. So a lot of it depends on how much the massage costs. If you're in a high-end spa and the massage is $120, oftentimes people tip 10 to $20 because of the high-end type of place where they're located. And then some places, like the massage clinics at the schools, only charge $35 to be worked on by a licensed therapist, but the therapists aren't making much at all. So since you're only paying $35, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and tip them 5 or 10 bucks at least, just to be nice. But it kind of depends on what type of massage you're getting, where you're getting it, whether or not you would tip them. So it's really up to you in the long run. And that's how you would tip a massage therapist.